timber. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Here comes the old 90. ham and cheese sub but you should know next up is a distant mercury distant i think he said it's a twin cylinder it has a scratcher chain
wild thing and beat that one too. <laughs> Here comes that little uh, 009. That's awesome. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. They both look pretty good off the top there. Grant and Derek have a wonderful cut going. Lots of power behind that saw there, and they are off just like that. Let's stick with the Winklers down there. A good cut going, and they are through. Big hand for both of those teams there. To your timber. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> It's only 2.30, and I've already left the show today. Uh, I got a long ways to go, and a short time to get there. So I'm going to hit the highway. You can watch old Bodie run. <laughs> uh, so I had a good time. I had a good time. Um, but I have to get back to Atlanta on Monday. Um, well, f because I have to get back to Atlanta quickly because on Monday I've got to turn around and do a job, a video job. And, uh, so that really messed with this whole little, uh, vacation type of thing that I was doing. I was going to just stay up here with my mom and dad and, uh, then go to Sawfest next weekend. However... I need to be back in Atlanta on Monday. So I'm going to be back in Atlanta. I'm going to do that job. And then I'm going to turn right back around and drive right back up here. <laughs> what a pain in my arse. Uh, but it was fun. I'm glad that I came. I got to meet a lot of people. I got to meet um, Bell Hopper. And he is straight up the definition of a hoot. Okay? He is a hoot. I mean, really, it was enjoyable to talk with that guy. Aaron was cool as the, uh, the flip side of your pillow. Aaron Lynch is who I'm talking about. Uh, John Bob was funny, and I really enjoyed talking with him. I got to meet Muffler D Delete. I got to meet Casterman. Uh, I finally got to meet Doug, Indiana Doug. He and I have communicated through messages and everything like that. And, um, um, it, it was good to meet him. I didn't get to say goodbye to him because I didn't know where he was. And at, by the time I was ready to leave, I was ready to leave. My back's hurting me. Uh, my feet are hurting me. <laughs> you know, I'm good to be an old man. I got to meet a few of you subscribers. Um, not many. Uh, you know, I wasn't swamped like Paul Buckin was and the Morgans. Uh, I did get to meet Mike uh, Morgan, which he's outdoors with the Morgan. I got to meet Buckin, Buck and Billy Ray. Didn't get to say much at, at, at all. I mean, didn't really even want to because I just felt bad for those guys. Even though they're having fun meeting their subscribers and everything, it's taxing. It's taxing whenever you have to meet and talk with a lot of people all day long. Uh, and, you know, 
neither one of those guys really had room to breathe. Like, if they wanted to go fetch something to eat or something, like, that's whenever I got to talk with them. So, I'm interrupting their food. But I was in and out of there, you know, within 30 seconds, probably maybe a minute, and I'm done. Let them do their thing. Um, keep that in mind whenever you're meeting these guys, you know. That they just got so there's so many people behind you that want to do the exact same thing you're doing so try not to try not to hog them try not to hog them i did get to meet john he's one of my subscribers got to meet matt uh matt's son really impressed me um caleb is his name and so bucking had the iron horse what is it now like the 382 i think it's the uh 371 with a 390 cylinder on it. That saw really sounded mean, guys. I mean, it it was deep, you know, and uh, if I'm correct, I believe that Iron Horse said that he did not port that. He just had it, had it together, going to see how it runs before he does anything real to it. So, but what I can say about that is it seemed like it really was a powerhouse and I did get to pick it up and fondle it and you know what it felt like it felt exactly like a 372 so if it's a 372 with the grunt and pull you know of a 390 that that is a, that is an excellent chainsaw combination especially for fellas out there that are actually using a big saw like that Boy, my phone's shaking all over the place. How's that? But, um, I didn't get a chance to run it. You know, Buckin had said, yeah, you know, hang around and, and you get a chance to run it, you know. And I did, but then I wasn't going to hang around until after dark and all that crap. And he let a few other people do it, but that man was busy. My gosh, he was flopping around like a chicken with his head cut off you know he, he handled it well and i think he kind of thrives in a situation like that but um all i'm saying is i didn't get to run it and i really wanted to run it now i probably if i said hey Bucky, can i can i fire this up he probably would have been like yeah have at it but it's a it's a weird thing i've got a lot of um sympathy for people that have been that are in those positions because i have been in that position a couple times in my life and whenever you've got 50 different people pulling at you you don't have time to think of that one dude that you said something to you know two hours ago you know so um it was a little disappointing i didn't get to run it but it was nobody it was just what it is but it seemed really awesome <laughs> and you know i'll see harvey uh iron horse at Sawfest, so it's very possible that he's going to come with one there, and I would get a chance to run that. And if I do, you know me. I mean, even even if it's Harvey, I mean, if if that if that saw's a piece of shit, I'm going to be like, that saw's a piece of shit. <laughs> but I'm certain that it won't be because it looked it looked very impressive, really, especially whenever I picked it up and it didn't feel like it was an ounce heavier than just a regular old. 372 you know so that was pretty cool um I, I got to meet uh muffler delete he was there just briefly very briefly i was on my way out uh you know just, just on my way out i will say this 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 was uh, pretty neat so jason lent because i know grant a little bit I felt very comfortable being in and around all of those pros while they were cutting and things. And I got to hang out with Grant and his family and uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny Freeman. He, I think in this video, you'll see, you'll see footage of him actually running his hot saw. Um, really good people. And so it, it was cool that I know them a little bit and I could hang out down there where all the business was happening but um that meant that you know i got to be right next to uh i think his name is matt coger right and and jason lance didn't say anything to them they probably just thought what's this guy with really cool sunglasses doing here <laughs> and nice hair as well they, they i'm sure they thought that 
Um, so I'm a big guy, and I've all, I've been I've been pretty big all my life. I mean, I'm not like anything special. I'm just tall, and um, and so you know, it's always interesting to me whenever I'm next to another big fella. And uh, Jason Lentz and Matt Coger both, they, they probably had a little height on me, but it didn't seem like it was that much. But the shoulders and arms, oh, those were big men, you know. I've been right by uh, Cam Newton, and uh, 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 the whole, whole of the Dallas Cowboys back in right like around 2002 and the ball uh the carolina panthers is what it was and you know those guys are pretty close to that level i mean they are on that level depending on who you're talking about uh, the level is nfl players those are big men <laughs> big you know They seem, they seem lovely and polite and everything, but, you know, it's fun to talk about that, like, you know, if they say do this, you go, okay, <laughs> yeah, all right, move aside, yes, sir, <laughs> you go right ahead, yeah, uh, it was, they're, well, you know, those two are knocking it out of the park, killing it, they're professional athletes, and, you know, they're built like it, that was pretty neat, um, the old saws were pretty neat to, to run. That is, I think it's House of Saws. Uh, one of the guys who watches my videos saw me getting a sandwich and he's like, I heard Bodie. And I thought they were calling my name for the sandwich or something like that. But then I turn around and it was, uh, I, I think he's a su subscriber. But anyways, he was telling me about the House of Saws and explaining to me about them. and. That guy, I guess he's got like 7,000 chainsaws. Woo! That's a lot. But um, overall, the experience um, the experience was cool, but it was a trade show. That's all it was. Besides, they combined, obviously, um, some chainsaw racing and stuff. And, and that, was, that was pretty cool, right? The cool thing about it was getting to meet everybody, you know? I got to have breakfast with Doug, and, um, you know, I mean, we're all just cool, we're, we're, all, no, we're not all cool, we're all just people, and um, if you're creating content on YouTube, you do have a level of creativity. It may not be as much or maybe more than some people, but there is a level of creativity there, and us YouTube creators create and whenever you get a chance to meet another creator it's pretty neat because you know it seems like nearly every time you know you got a lot in common and so that's fun that's fun but anyways I've rambled enough I've got a long ways to go hopefully I can make it to Tennessee before I find me a place to rest for the night and um, but you know over the next couple of weeks my videos are going to be scattered, and y'all should expect that. I'm just, I'm going to be busy as hell. Busy, 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 busy. Anyways, yeah, I can't say it enough. I mean, seriously. Aaron was cool. Aaron Lynch, I really, I really liked him. I really liked him. He was cool. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, John Bob was fun as could be. Anyways, and everybody was great, but I hung out with those two a lot. And uh, the few subscribers that came up and said, hey, John, you came up and said, hey, and that was, you know, I had a good conversation with John, you know, well, with, with everybody, I just, with everybody, it was great. I really enjoyed it, but I'm glad to be going home. So that's it. Take care, guys, and there will be more to come later.